Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at CMS filtering and more specifically how to style the filter. So you have a filter like this, that when you load the page, it has the all selected and you can change the filters like a radio button. And these themes in this case are generated from the CMS, but you still have the all button that will go back and have the styled active state. I'll share a clonable, of course, in the description. And in this video, I'm just going to do the technical setup. If you want to see another video where I talk about the styling, uh, let me know in the comments and um, maybe I'll make a video about that. But in Webflow, I've set up uh, my project and uh, I have a collection list here that shows these game levels. And uh, they, they are from one collection and they each have a theme that is a reference to another collection, the themes collection. So if we go just in here, we can see we have game levels and we have a themes collection and they each have a color. So they look super nice. So that's the setup we have right now. And nothing is made interactive with any filtering yet. Whereas this one, we are using CMS filter from our friends over at FinSuite. The first step we have to do is to copy the snippet and paste it on the page. Okay, that was step one, and then we can get into the, um, the guidelines here for the required setup. The first attribute we have to add is the list. So we have to add it to the collection list. We select the list, we go to settings, and we add the attribute and call it list. Okay, that was that one. Next one, filters. So now we need a form block, and that should contain all of the filter buttons that we have on our website. And we also want to give it this attribute. We copy this one. We go back into the project. So now I want to add a form block. We search for form block and add it here. And we can delete all of the things inside because we don't need it. We just need our filters. Since I want the filters to be CMS driven, the first thing I want to add is a collection list. And this one, I want to take the information from the themes collection. So we have these. And I want to use a radio button filter. So I'm also going to add a radio button inside of this. So now we have a bunch of radio buttons and we can select the label here and um, give it the name of each uh, category or each theme. But we were adding the attribute on the form block. So let's select the form block and go over here and add the attribute. This one is supposed to be called filters. Yeah. So now we have the filters added. The last required attribute for the setup is uh, the field identifier. And this one we add to the radio label and uh, we also add it to a text block inside of the CMS item. And these are the ones that will kind of compare and match to do the actual filtering. So the attribute is CMS filter field and then the value is the identifier. So for this in uh, case, I'm going to call it themes. So the, we add it to the radio button label in here. We call it themes. So that was on the filter uh, element. And then we want to match it up with the place where we have the name of the theme on the CMS item. It's here. We put the same one. So now we actually have the basic setup and we have some filter functionality going. Let's just do a quick preview to see how it is. Okay. We can click on these and they work like radio buttons and they filter our list, but we still can't go back to the all or reset the filter because these are radio buttons and we don't have the all button yet. So that's what we're going to add now. We have these that are generated from the collection, but the all button, I don't want to be generated from a collection. So I put it outside here and add a radio button for that. I'm just going to move it to the top and we call it all. This one, the radio button label, I want to give the same attribute as the other ones. So the CMS filter field and themes. So it's part of the same uh, filter group. It's just a neat little trick of how I do do this. So I duplicate the, um, the name here of the, of the theme and I unlink it. The text inside, I put all. So it has the, the themes attribute and it has the text all inside. And this one we can hide. So this is a little trick to um, make sure that all of the cards uh, in the collection list match the text all. So we can use that for filtering. Let's do a quick test preview where we can see how it works now. 
Okay, so we have the all button added. And if we click water, the fire, they still work. If we click all, we see all of the items, but we also see something that's not supposed to do like this. Two radio buttons are selected. If I change this, so what is happening now is that the all radio button is not in the same radio group. So it's kind of just its own button uh, alone. And we, that's uh, a quite important thing we want to change. So we click the all radio button and go to settings. And we can see this one is in the group name called Radio 2, whereas the other radio buttons are in the group called Radio 1. I'm just going to rename this so they get the same name of the groups. I'm going to call it Themes, just to be consistent. Okay, let's publish and check if uh, that works better. Okay, so we can still filter on Fire, Water, Earth, and we can go back to All. And we see all of the items and only all is selected. So now it's working exactly how we want it to. But when we load the page, I think it would be nice if the all was pre-selected. And we're also just going to change the styling a bit so they don't look just like regular radio buttons. but look, look more like the filters that we showed in the beginning. To uh, make the all checked, we're going to click the radio dot here. And we're going to go and add a custom attribute to that. It's just going to be checked. Yes, so that will define this radio button as being checked by default. We can still hide the radio buttons. I'm just going to put the class called hide. And I also defined a, a styling for these, which I'm just going to add uh, now. Now I applied the class, so my radio buttons look more like filters, how I wanted them to. When we're using FinSuite's filtering, the active state is defined by a combo class on this radio group. The standard name for this is uh, fs-cmsfilter underscore active. And now here I just added some stylings to make it look uh, nicer. So this is how it will look now when it's active. And I'm just going to add a bit of extra secret uh, styling that I did here for this project. Yes, so now we get the dynamic colors as well. And again, you can check this out in the clonable or let me know in the comments if you want to know a bit more about how we, we did that. Now let's publish and see how it looks. When we look at the page now, we can see that the all button is uh, selected when you load the page and we have the nice styling with the custom colors as well on the filters and it just works beautifully. So that's it for today. Uh, as I said, if you want to know more about anything I mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments and um, otherwise just thanks for watching and have a nice day.